What's up guys, Steve here again with Fish On and uh, shoot me a big thumbs up. Please share and subscribe. Let's see where we're fishing this time. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next episode. What is up guys, Steve here again to Fish On and today you've caught me on the banks of the North Fork of the St. Vrain River. I'm a little bit west of Lyons. Um, spring of the year, it's gonna be 70 degrees down in town today. Um, St. Vrain River is divided into three forks, the uh, south and the middle and the north. Um, this is the North Fork west of Lyons off Highway 36, um, that little driving video. Um, that's going to be a part of this episode. Showed you where I turned. Um, easy spot to find. No secret spot here. A lot of little fish. There were bigger fish before the flood, but there's still some little fish in here now. It's a really fun spot. Um, let's see what today brings. I'm going to nymph. I'm going to hit it with streamers. Um, maybe some wet flies. If we get some rising fish lately, obviously I'll go to the surface. And I think it'll be a good day. I hope you guys enjoy the episode. See ya. Got to be a fish here, right? Trying a little bit different spot here. Still on the uh, North Fork of the St. Brain River, but there's this little area where the water pools up before the diversion structure. We were just below. Let's see what happens here. amount of chop in the water but not much so I'm going to be twitching this there's hardly any current here because there's a dam diversion structure right look at this gorgeous fish I'm gonna explain later how we got this done and what I had to do to get this fish but we figured it out and that is a beautiful very typical size for this drainage here guys but that's a beautiful trout on the North Fork of the St. Brain River. We got it done. Uh, number two here, guys. Um, beautiful fish. And this was work. This was work, but we figured it out and got it done. We're letting this one get his wits about him and we'll let him go. Let's play a little game here. Where do you guys see a spot to throw? Behind these boulders. Don't forget about in front of these boulders too. Any calm water where the fish doesn't have to expend a lot of energy fighting the current. If you grab a meal and then get back to where he was hiding, Maybe a spot where he's safe from overhead bird strikes. So reading the water, do you guys see that foam? Foam is home. You're going to want to fish that foam trail, that's for sure. Most people realize behind boulders are good, but in front of boulders are good too. There's a submerged part of the rock that provides some protection in front of the boulder too from the current. So 
we're gonna fish, get some food and expend the least amount of energy as possible. What's up guys, we're gonna wrap up today. Um, guys, this was tough. I thought I was gonna get skunked. In the spirit of being honest and always being truthful, I mean, this was a really tough day. Um, in fact, the GoPro battery died before I caught my first fish. Um, those are notorious for not lasting that long, but still, I, uh, this was a tough day. I landed three trout. I thought I was gonna get skunked. Um, certainly if, if one's a fluke and two's a theory and three's a pattern, if you've heard that before, um, I established a pattern today. I mean, I got three doing the same thing, but I had to completely reconfigure what I was doing, guys. Um, you know, the prince head, uh, or the uh, bead head, prince nam, bead head pheasant tail, um, uh, even RS2s, balanced leech did absolutely nothing. And um, I had to, I stopped and, um, you know, I sat, I sat on a rock and I, I recomposed myself and uh, completely changed out my rig. I went to three pound tippet, um, the tiniest that I had, I tied on uh, a, size 24 um, little wet fly and didn't even use a strike indicator and that's what got the job done one one was on an indicator but I didn't want anything to scare the fish or spook them this is one of those tough days guys I know I needed really ultra small presentation here on the um, north fork of the st. brain you guys can see this this is the only guy the only guy that caught fish today I mean that tiny 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 uh, wet fly that was it that was the only thing I caught fish today. I landed three, I got videos of two of them. Um, I almost dropped my phone in the river since the GoPro battery died. I only have one GoPro battery at this point, but I uh, uh, almost dropped my phone in the river, so I just decided to enjoy the third one. But um, you got videos of two of them, but yeah, this was tough, guys. I mean, as far as figuring it out, though, I'm proud of that. I mean, we definitely figured it out. I'm gonna have a great time no matter what, but I mean, we got weather coming in. I'm still trying to coach later today, so. Um, I had a great time, but and happy I figured it out, but it was tough. Had to go to just ultralight tackle, ultralight, tiny tippet, three pound tippet, whatever X that is, and the smallest wet fly I have. I did another video about how if fish are ever rising and they're not taking your dry fly and you can't figure it out, you have the wrong fly, wrong size, whatever, drift or wet fly below that rising fish and they're probably gonna take it. Even if they're keyed on to the bug and you're thinking you gotta match the hatch, they're gonna take that wet fly. Today was the same thing, guys, below the surface. Um, didn't even want an indicator on at one point just because it requires such a delicate presentation with this little wet fly. But um, this tiny fly got it done and got me some fish and prevented a skunk because I'm just I'm always gonna figure it out. Whether it's six foot shark in Florida or carp or panfish or bluegill or reds or pompano, um, I'm gonna figure it out. I, I'm sure I'll have an episode at some point where I get skunked, but I'll probably still make a video to explain kind of what happened and how it went down. But Happy that we figured it out today, to guys, to the tuna three fish. And this is a fun spot. Um, again, guys, North Fork of the St. Brain River, and it's gonna be episode number five, but it'll be a short one because we don't have a lot of us catching fish. And the fish I did catch are on the cell phone, which is really, really hard. So I gotta get another GoPro battery. So um, that's it, guys. We will catch you next time. Uh, thanks for watching.